sorry. The Lanyard by Billy Collins. The other day, I was ricocheting slowly off the blue walls of this room, moving as if underwater, from typewriter to piano, from a bookshelf to an envelope lying on the floor, when I found myself in the L section of the dictionary, where my eyes fell upon the word lanyard. No cookie nibbled by a French novelist could send one into the past more suddenly. A past where I sat at a workbench, at a camp, by a deep Adirondack lake, learning how to braid long, thin plastic strips into a lanyard, a gift for my mother. I had never seen anyone use a lanyard, or wear one, if that's what you did with them. But that did not keep me from crossing strand over strand again and again, until I had made a boxy red and white lanyard for my mother. She gave me life and milk from her breast, and I gave her a lanyard. She nursed me in many a sick room, lifted spoons of medicine to my lips, laid a cold face cloth on my forehead, and then led me out into the airy light and taught me to walk and swim. And I, in turn, presented her with a lanyard. Here are thousands of meals, she said, and here is clothing and a good education. And here is your lanyard, I replied which I made with a little help from a counselor. Here is a breathing body and a beating heart, strong legs, bones, and teeth, and two clear eyes to read the world, she whispered. And here, I said, is the lanyard I made at camp. And here, I wish to say to her now, is a smaller gift, not the worn truth that you can never repay your mother, but the rueful admission that when she took the two-tone lanyard from my hand, I was as sure as a boy could be that this useless, worthless thing I wove out of boredom would be enough to make us even.